Welcome back to the channel folks. This is daily update for Bed Bath & Beyond and the question is why the stock did not run up today. And I'm going to answer that question in this video. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. I release video every day and I know the stock from, from a while now and we have a lot of levels here that I've been covering and these are very, very good levels. You know, like at this point, for example, I know exactly where the price is going to go if it does start to move up. Of course, you know, nothing is guaranteed, but if it started moving up, I know where the next levels are. All right. So let's go back to our today's video, see what's happening with the stock, why the stock did not run up today. The reason behind this is because Hudson Bay, who is a counterparty to Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond made him assign a waiver, which means that if the price does fall below a dollar, they could still ask Hudson Bay to execute the warrant, which means they still have to give them cash and they'll get the shares for Bed Bath & Beyond. And what Hudson Bay is going to do with the shares, they would have to sell it. But if they got the share for, let's say, 71 cents or so, then they're, gonna, they're not going to make a lot of money here. So what they would want to do, they would want to, you know, definitely pump the stock up to the levels where they could sell it and make profit. Of course, a short interest is 71%. So it's easy to push the stock up, right? But what's happening right now? Okay, the problem with the biggest problem with the stock right now is the volume. Okay, today's volume is that was traded today is only 28 million. On an average, the volume that is traded for the stock is about 74 million. That is a lot lower than you would anticipate on regulation. So what's happening here? Why is the volume so lower? You know, the problem is the problem is the retail investors are not in the stock today. And what I've noticed in the order flow, mo most of the uh, small orders, only 13%. You know, this number usually is like 31%. And today is only 13%. And a lot of retail investors are coming out of the position as well. If you see here, the outflows is some uh, small investors, 14% is the outflow, which means that 14% came out of the stock. Medium is 24%, which is small brokerage firm. And large is the institutional. And again, large institution is if you see here 8% and then 12%. With that being said, 12%, I'm I'm thinking that, you know, Hudson Bay is still on a move and still trying to sell the stock. So so what's happening right now is retail investors were not in the stock today. This is a major drawback. The stock could not go up. Again, we are in position right now. And as I said in my previous video, the stock market moves in either way, right? It goes down, it goes up. But this is the level we have here. We have 74 cents or we have 88 cents. If it crosses 88 cents, the next stop is going to be 91 cents. If it crosses 91 cents, it's going to a dollar. So with that being said, you know, again, we need retail investors to start coming in and pump the stock up. For meme stocks, retail investors are the biggest, uh, you know, biggest invest investors that are pumping the stock. So if they're not there, then it's very hard to pump the stock at this point. So with that being said, today's the the reason we did not run up today is because retail investors were not in the stock and there were majority of them actually came out of the position. So my recommendation for the stock is only invest the money you're willing to lose because this is definitely a meme stock. Bed Bath & Beyond financially, it is done. Okay, guys, I don't think the company will survive after this year because there's too much going on with financially that it's hard to bring back together. Right? So in my opinion, they're trying to get the money from Hudson Bay get all the cash and maybe start up a new business or something like that. You know, we'll see. I'm still positioned. I'm still positioned for a bullish momentum for tomorrow. I do think that once retail investors start coming into the stock, we could definitely see a good momentum of the stock. But stay tuned. And I'm trading the stock and I'm not trying to give you guys financial advice, but definitely check out the stock every day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.